Hi there, it is time for a little bit more clicks on the side. Uh, just had a little bit of a mail call where I got in some new figures to help uh, fill out my collection. Um, I did get, went ahead and picked up the Rare Killer Croc uh, for potential Arkham Asylum team. And just because I'm a fan of them, um, I went and got the Colossal Red Hulk. I don't know what it is about this character I like so much. He just always piques my interest whenever I see him. So got him added. And then I went ahead and added the Super Rare Iron Fist uh, from Battle World to the collection so that I could put him with a monster themed team including uh, Captain Venom, Captain, I'm sorry, uh, Venom Hulk and Jeanette um, and see what they can do. But the real reason I'm making this video and that would be my little guy Bryson um, in the background. Uh, the real reason I'm making this video is to show off the new OP kit that I just got in the mail. It is Marvel's Heroes for Hire. Um, had a little bit of a chance to look them over. There's nothing too special about them, except we got one new uh, one new sculpt. Uh, the Iron Fist and the Luke Cage are both uh, the Avengers Defenders War sculpt, and then Misty Knight is at least one I'm not I haven't seen before. I don't know if it's a reuse of an older set. But um, I just thought I'd show you guys the sculpts and the cards. Uh, let's start with Mr. Luke Cage. Uh, it has a special defensive power, Get Behind Me Danny, where he gets invulnerability and willpower. When an opposing character within the line of fire makes a range attack, adjacent friendly characters can use toughness. Uh, that's pretty handy. And he also has the Avengers Defenders, Heroes for Hire, and Marvel Knights keywords. There's his dial. Not bad for 60 points. Iron Fist is going to look very similar. He has Defenders, Heroes for Hire, Marvel Knights, and Martial Artist keywords. And a special defensive power, are you ever going to try dodging Luke? Super Senses and Willpower. When an opposing character within Line of Fire makes a close attack, adjacent friendly characters can use Super Senses. He is also, oh, got a glare. He is also at 60 points. There we go. Um, five clicks at 60 points. But I like his dial throughout. He's got a uh, 10 attack plus throughout, starting with a 12 with exploit weakness. This is one I might actually use on another team I'm working on with here is for higher keyword um, that involves uh, Solo, Ant-Man, and um, another figure I'm going to show off here in just a couple minutes uh, from another OP kit. And last we have Misty Knight. Not much going on for her, as I was hoping. Uh, Defenders, Heroes for Hire, Marvel Knights, Detective, Martial Arts, and Police Keywords. Special Movement Power of Stealth and Sidestep. The rest is relatively plain. She is just 40 points, but for 5 clicks, so that's not bad. Uh, the Close Combat Expert's pretty good once you get her in there. Um, she does have... Spider-Man, family, and police um, team abilities. So that's the police team, work, uh, team ability is pretty nice. Get you a close-up of her. And there's the new Misty Knight. The other new hero for hire I wanted to talk about was this Negasonic Teenage Warhead from the Deadpool OP kit that came out last month. Uh, she does have the Heroes for Hire keyword and X-Men keyword. And the two of the reasons I like this uh, character is because she does have the Mercs for Money trait 
Uh, we saw that back in the Dead, uh, Deadpool and X-Force set. Um, when another friendly character with the Heroes for Hire keyword KOs an opposing character, after resolutions heal Negasonic Teenage Warhead one click. Um, I find that's going to come in handy uh, like with characters like Ant-Man from Avengers Defenders War. Um, the OP kits we just showed you. Uh, there was even a Deadpool from the starter set that was Heroes for Hire. Um, that could come in handy with that along with a bunch of the Deadpool core. Uh, were the ones who mainly had that trait as well. She does also come with a special attack power on the first two dial, uh, first two clicks, with Pulse Wave TK power. If Negasonic Teenage Warhead has no action tokens, she can use Pulse Wave and Telekinesis at no cost in either order. Uh, so I thought that was pretty neat, where she could just TK herself up and Pulse Wave. Um, or Pulse Wave and TK, TK herself right on out of there. Uh, 40 points, 4 clicks. So not much going on dial-wise. Here we are. Uh, does have the 10 attack with the ESD. So that will keep her safe from range at least. Only a 4 range for that Pulse Wave. So just 2. So not OP, but I still do like it. And then of course she does have the X-Men team ability. So those were just some of the new Hero for Hires from the OP kits that I wanted to go over. Um, let me know what you think. Leave me a quick like or a subscribe if you'd like. And feel free to leave comments. I'm still planning on doing an unboxing for the Captain Marvel movie set. Hopefully it showed up in the shop today, but I have not heard from them yet. Um, but once I have my hands on that, I'll be putting an opening vid for it. Thank you very much, and this has been Clicks on the Side.